PC Wiz Kid here with the Patriot Ignite, a 480 gigabyte SSD SATA 3, as you can see here, comes in different sizes. We're looking at the 480 gigabyte model, of course. Seven millimeters in height, great for a laptop if you're planning on upgrading that as well. Here are the specs for that. Things that point out and stand out the most are that Fission S10 SSD controller, okay? That's a quad core eight channel uh, controller with smart ECC technology. That means it has end-to-end -end data protection. I really find that in enterprise class SSDs and processors. So very interesting that they've added that in this consumer level SSD. As you can see here, 560 megs per second on the read. For uh, uh, SSD drive like this, that's really fast. 545 megs on the right. We're gonna benchmark that in a second and see how close it comes to those specs. Here are additional features. Again, trim support as you would expect from Windows OS, for example, smart ECC, smart refresh, garbage collection, all of that, you need that, of course. Uh, you want SSDs to, to last. Three years warranty is definitely something that you're looking for minimum these days. And, um, well, the drive itself doesn't look anything out of the ordinary. It's very lightweight, that's for sure. Uh, simple, easy to install, comes with the screws, of course, and you just slap it in there and away you go. Connect all the S, the SATA controller and the, um, and the power, and you're good. Here are some benchmarks starting with the auto sequential read and write. Okay, so again, 560 is what they advertised, 555 is what I found. On the right, 530 megs per second, and they advertise 545. So pretty close to the top speeds there. Also on the AS SSD benchmarks, it agreed with those as well. You can see how close it came with the sequential read and write. Not so much on the 4K though, I gotta say, kind of lagged around, uh, behind on that one. But well-rounded results, again, very fast results. Crystal Disk Mark also agreed with the sequential read and write. So these are different utilities that are benchmarking things slightly different. And we're looking for similar results, consistency. Now, on PC Mark 8, it's doing a wide variety of real-world type of scenario results on storage. So it's doing Adobe, it's doing gaming, it's doing all kinds of stuff. 227 megs per second on average. That's what it came up with for the Ignite 480. And um, you can compare that to other results that I've done on other SSDs as well on PC Mark 8. The um, A.64 linear read and random read, you can see there the different results are fairly close again to the advertised 500 and 60 megs per second. So you can definitely kiss your slow systems goodbye with this one. Priced at around $180 US on Newegg.com. That's pretty darn good for a 480 gigabyte SSD. So definitely recommend this. Like to thank Patriot for providing it. Comment below, let me know what you think. And again, thank you for watching.